There was a season uh, in the life of our youth ministry where uh, we weren't reaching the community. We weren't actually impacting the youth. Everything we tried just was not working. And we, I was actually losing hope. I was like, I don't know if is, is, is youth ministry something that really God has called me to do because we're not seeing any fruit. But God actually uh, started to speak to a few of our students. I went to an adult alpha and I really felt the Lord telling me that um, this is an amazing experience. What if we saw this for uh, kids your age and your friends at school? So I thought, yes, and I need to respond to what the Lord is telling me. And I thought, I need to get my brother involved, let him know, um, and the leaders of the church and what they would think. Well, so I just have a heart for reaching um, people my age in the region, in my community, uh, who don't know the Lord. And so what I wanted them to experience was just um, not only people um, having a relationship with Jesus, but also a lot of uh, really get them excited about their faith. I think that's, that, that's one of the amazing things that happened is like in that place of not being satisfied, of, of not being happy with the surrounding, it pushed us into a place of prayer. And we started inviting kids from our schools and in our communities, in our neighborhoods and kids around us to Youth Alphas and we started um, hosting them on Sunday nights and uh, it was amazing after we uh, hosted about two sessions, we saw around 150 kids come uh, to those sessions where every week we're seeing new students come and we're like hey how'd you hear about this oh my friend told me about it my friend invited me and this started um, in Alpha Youth like you see the, the effect on their hearts when, when they say I tried to invite my friend but he said no I'm still gonna invite them it's been cool seeing actually a student-led youth group because it started in Alpha Youth where we empowered them and saying hey you like God has called you guys to do this and if you guys have the passion for this he can he can use you guys to actually um, impact your friends and impact the community yeah I was just amazed that um, the turnout that ended up coming um, how many kids were uh, packing out the whole place because when we stepped into our church and we saw the auditorium one of my personal visions that the Lord was laying on my heart was for what we saw with the adult alpha, that was amazing. I want to see this whole auditorium packed out uh, with youth students. You know, even if it's just one person, uh, you know, we could do this for over 150 people, but if it's just one person at the end who accepts Jesus into their hearts, then that's all that matters. I think actually the youth are and is the best way to reach to the next generation. When they live for Jesus um, and then they go out in the, into the schools and actually walk out their faith. I, I think that's, it's so different from what, what the world is looking like today. I think that, that causes them to wonder that this is, this is different. You know, I don't see this every day. I don't see this at school. I don't see this at home. You never lose when you say yes to Jesus. We're planning to do it again, and so I just feel like the Lord's gonna do uh, even bigger things, you know, in the more alphas that we do uh, going forward in the future. I believe in empowering the youth because when I was 19, someone believed in me. They empowered me to actually step out in the, the plans and the purposes that God had for me. And because of that, I want to also believe, I want to challenge other students. I want to, um, to, to show other students that, hey, if, I, if, if God could do something through me, you know, a boy from East Africa, what about, what about you? You know, he, he most definitely can do something in and through your life. It's a generation that doesn't give up.